we're gonna get Stardew Valley up. We're gonna make a file in Stardew Valley. This is gonna be the last thing we do on stream today. Let me switch over to Stardew Valley. Classic game. It's a nice, relaxing, fun game. Everybody everybody loves Stardew Valley. Um, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to get lost in it like I like to like I like to get, but we'll be able to play a little bit. Let me get my Stardew Valley scene up here. Should be popping up soon, hopefully. My face cam should be popping up there. Um, hold on. I've got to get my captions out, out from behind the screen so the captions function. We got Stardew Valley. Who here has played Stardew Valley before? Who here is a fan of the valley? I, most of my Stardew Valley has been played on my Switch, but I originally got Stardew Valley on Steam many years ago. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make a new character. I bought it during the sale, but I've yet to try it again. You should, uh, you should totally play it. It's a fun game. We can even play co-op if you want sometime. Alright, so I'm gonna name ourselves Aeonful, because this is our stream file. Farm name. Would anyone like to name our farm? Would anyone like to name our favorite thing? Tell me what you guys want. They added new farms here. Oh shit, they added new farms. When I first played this game, I think there were only like three kinds of farms. Played it through Steam Share during release year. Nice. I'm pretty white, I gotta be the white guy. Hair, I want some cool hair. Give me some cool hair. Is that my hair? Where's the emo hair? Don't you have emo hair? <laughs> Balding. Mohawk. There are so many hair options. There are so many hair options. What was this one? That's almost good. Almost. Uh, a little bit too swervy for me. Uh, oh gosh, there it is. <laughs> no, I actually don't really like that hair that much. I kind of like this. I kind of like this messy, unkempt hair. I also like this one. This is kind of like what my old hair used to be. Oh, this is good. This is this is kind of accurate. Hair 10. You could have Goku hair. Chrono. Chrono from Chrono Trigger hair. Afro. All right, let's do hair 10. Uh, I'm not gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it uh, what I had my hair dyed to a couple years ago. Cause this is this is the color I wanna re-dye my hair. I used to have this color, can, chat, can you believe it? I used to have this color hair. This game is Stardew Valley. It is, um, it's kind of a, it's a farming game. It's kind of like far, uh, Harvest Moon, but like everything is improved upon, in my opinion has really great visuals except for the fucking bed there you're gonna see there's one scene at the start of this game that has this one sprite that's so ridiculously bad it's funny <laughs> it's really funny how many shirt 102 shirt options they added a lot to this game they've added quite a bit we could be waluigi what game is this sploosh? Butt spot. How could you do this to me? What do we want to wear for a shirt, folks? What do we want to wear? There's so many options. We could get the Mario overalls. The Luigi overalls. Um... Hmm. A lot of, lot of stuff with just a little, just a couple pixels is the shirt, and yet there's so many different options. That's Link. That's a Link shirt. I kind of like the jacket. 31. 31's not bad. Kind of like 31. Thirty-one. 
check out all the others. This is kind of similar to 31, but uh, not as good, if you ask me. I'll have my revenge. I am thou, thou art I, thou who art willing to sacrifice dignity for memes. Break thus rules of the chat, and call my name, come to me, brah! Yeah, you got it, dude. Bruh. It doesn't do caps, so it's just gonna be bruh, but bruh, you know. I'll, 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 I'll say bruh every time to really emphasize it for you, because I know. Could have a skull shirt on. Okay, I think we're gonna go with a uh, 31. I like 31. Pants color, I'm emo. We're gonna wear black pants. <laughs> we could wear shorts. Oh, what are those? Only a different, only a couple kinds of pants. Ack? Oh, accessory. We got kind of like beard, beard going on. I don't really care about beard. Not really interested in the beard, eh? Oh, we could have a little scarf on. I kind of like the scarf. That'll show him. Duck bill. I kind of like the the blue scarf or the red scarf. I kind of like the red scarf. Oh my god, I'm a fucking otaku. Rip, dude. Oh shit, we can pick the. I <laughs> want no killing yourself in stream. It's not allowed. You can pick specific kinds of animals now. Like you used to be able to pick cat or dog. You didn't get to pick which cat or dog. I'm gonna go with this one. Or this one? No, this this one. But this this one's my class. This one, this one, this one. All right, what are we naming the farm? Butts, Butts Farm. Are we naming it Butts Farm. What are we naming the farm, guys? I think favorite thing. I think we're gonna say nut. Just right out of the gate, say nut. Does anyone have any strong opinions on what we should name our farm? How about, uh, how about Wiener Farm? Wiener. Bruh. Bruh Farm. Let's do Bruh Farm. I like that. Beach Farm. Four Corners Farm. There's new farms here. There's, like, new stuff. I, I kind of want to do one of the new ones. I tend to just, like, pick the standard farm when I play this, but I want to try something new for stream. Riverland Farm. Your farm is spread across several islands and scenic river. I've done that one before, actually. Forest Farm. The woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Hilltop Farm. Rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult. Yo! Stoner! Holy shit. What's up, dude? Stoner, welcome in. Raiders! How y'all doing today? Let me give you a shout out real quick, man. For anybody who doesn't know, it's RG Stoner. Check out this dude. He's one of the coolest people on Twitch. One of, one of the, the coolest people, absolutely, hands down, that I've met on Twitch. Welcome in, Raiders. We're uh, we're playing a little bit of Stardew Valley. This is our our Sunday variety stream, except it's on a Saturday, because I'm not going to be around tomorrow. Welcome in, Ono. Hey, DMAC. How you doing, man? Stoner, thank you so much for the raid, dude. I appreciate it endlessly. Um, we're trying to pick a farm. We are trying to pick a, a bit of a farm, eh? A uh, hilltop farm, rocky terrain, and winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral, oh, mineral deposit. I'm like, I'm staring at this beach farm. Dude, you're so kind. Dude, you're so kind. You're so kind. Beach farm. Good foraging and fishing. Tons of open space. Sometimes supply crates wash up on shore. However, sprinklers don't work in the sandy soil. That's rough, because I really like sprinklers. Land is divided into four parcels, each with its own perk. Perfect for a group. Oh. Wilderness. Monsters come out. What do y'all want to see? Do y'all have a preference on which farm we do? I'm leaning towards beach, riverland, forest. Uh, maybe not forest kind of leaning towards beach, standard, or riverland, but I always do standard, so I want to do something cool and new. Uh, beach farm. 
I just won't be able to use sprinklers. But, you know, that could be fine. That could be absolutely fine. I just have to water everything by hand. I think I'm going to do the beach farm. I think this is a new new farm. I haven't seen it yet. I want to do the beach farm. I think that'll be fun. Beach it is, then. All right, y'all ready to see this? Oh, excuse me. Beach farm sounds cool. I agree. Y'all ready to see this horrible fucking bed sprite that I was talking about? Look at this. Look at this fucking image. Look at this fucking image. It's such a badly drawn bed. It's so funny. And for my special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. This is so fucking funny. Yo, he gave me my smash invite. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. It's so bad. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Still better than my art. Not even, though. Where's the mattress? Literally. Like, this is the least comfortable bed in the world. This is his deathbed. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Every time I play this game, this, this cutscene gets me. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. I think we all need a Stardew Valley in our life. It's like those pull-out cots you get at hotels when you need an extra bed, legitimately. Joja, join us. Thrive. Work, rest. Two options. You either work or you rest. Somebody got terminated. We got a cowboy here. This guy's been reading from the scripture. Clearly not enough, though, because he's working a shitty job here at Joja Corp. This is us. This is our blue-haired emo kid. I'm shaking. I'm crying. The weight of the capitalist society is raining down upon me, killing my will to live. Well, today was a very fun stream, but you know, humans have to sleep, so yeah, good night to everyone. Yeah, dude, no worries. I know you're, you're in a bit of a time difference over there. Uh, thank you so much for coming by. I hope I didn't uh, embarrass myself too much <laughs> playing Rain World for you, dude. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. We will definitely be playing more of it. Thank you so much for the recommendation, Ivento. Dear Aeonful, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Bruh. Farm. Bruh. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? So we, uh, we hop, we hop our ass on the bus, and we bring ourselves over to Stardew Valley. And that's pretty much how the game sets up. You get yourself a farm, you escape from the the doldrum of everyday life in the cubicle. And we pretty much play Harvest Moon from this point on, which is why I think this is going to be a great game for variety streams, because it's like whenever we need a break from getting eaten in a rain world, or getting blown up in Spelunky, or fucking up orders in Cook Serve Delicious, we can just relax and play a game where we can't really do anything wrong. Hello, you must be Aeonful. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He is there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. What were you playing earlier, Stoner? Before you, before you raided. Also, how's the Dark Souls been going? I keep like popping in and out, and uh, you were in. It looked like you were in the 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 Demon Ruins. When I last checked out, that's like that's pretty good. That's pretty good progress. It's pretty fast progress, dude. This is bruh farm. This is the beach farm. <coughs> What's the matter? 
Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mat. This is sand, Robin. Good soil, it's sand. We're gonna be growing on sand. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. It's true, we will, we will end up cleaning it up pretty fast. That's probably what we're gonna be doing most of the stream. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer! Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Ah, the first twangs of hunger have hit my stomach after my five hours of streaming. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, eh, Unful? She's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The town's people would appreciate that. We're going to go through, we're going to meet everyone in town on stream. Because we have to. No, oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Oh, there's so much we got to pick up here. There's so much on the farm. All right, if you haven't seen this game before, well, here it is. Oh, it's giving me the controls because it's been so long since I played. That is not the run button. I automatically run. What have we got in here? Oh, someone gave me some parsnip seeds. That's nice. Here's a little something to get you started from Mayor Lewis. I appreciate it. I do. All right. <laughs> Step one. We have to clear some of this terrain. We gotta clear some of this shit. I would love to go talk to everybody in town because I have to complete that quest. Let me open up the quest log real quick. Oh, what's the quest log on PC again? L, K, maybe I'll just click it. I'll just, I'll just click it. F, F is the journal. Getting started, cultivate and harness, harvest a parsnip. Introductions, greet all 28 people. So we gotta do those quests. But let's start by planting a parsnip, I think. Bart Simpson. This was a game I actually wanted to get to during the um, the 12 hour frog stream. And then I wanted to get to it during the, uh, the Sunday variety stream after that. But here we are, three weeks later, probably, and we're finally getting some Stardew Valley time in. Get lots of wood. Pick up, pick up all the wood. You gotta get the, your scythe. Pick up your scythe. Cut all the grass. You can get some seeds from the grass too. Very cool. Kind of like clear all the space out here. You know what I might do? Since we can't use sprinklers, I might not be. I might not run like a very crop-intensive farm. What I'm thinking I might do is I'll do kind of like a, a ranch instead. We'll have a lot of animals on the farm. And we can name the animals whatever the fuck we want. Chat can name all the animals. I think that would be super fun. Get all this fucking grass out of here, what did you say? Pick, pick, pick. I have played this game so much. I have played an ungodly amount of hours in this game. Do not look at my fucking... my Switch profile, because you'll see, like, some ungodly amount of hours. My Steam profile has less hours on this game, but if I start streaming this a lot, it's gonna go up pretty fast. It's gonna go up pretty fast. Oh, it's still only 9 in the morning here. We got plenty of time to, uh to clear out the area. Bow, 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 bow. 
I can just get lost in this game for hours, I'm not gonna lie. There's just so much stuff to do. When you play it co-op, yo, playing it co-op is great. No, hit the tree, not not the tree. Ugh, it takes a while to clean up the farm, though. I will say that much. It takes a fucking while. And you always want to have, like, a source of trees on your farm. You don't want to get rid of all of them right away. Because that's just no good. No good at all. So we're definitely not going to clear this entire farm off today. We're just going to clear some of it. Just enough of it, really. Pick that up. Inventory. Oh, that's right. You gotta buy inventory upgrades. I, I, it's been a little while. It's been a little while. Five, six, seven. What am I doing? This isn't like Minecraft. What am I doing? Sorry, sorry. Pretty sure you can just plant stuff like all right next to each other. Oh, I'm getting exhausted. I completely forgot that was a mechanic. It's been a long time since I played this game. Okay, so you don't want to wipe out. You don't want to get too exhausted that you completely wipe out. Because that's no good. Uh, okay, plant one more. Call it good there, man. Call it good there. Let's head into town and start meeting everybody. Because there's a lot of folks, and we got to say hi to all of them. We cannot pick these up yet, unfortunately. Unfortunately, you can't pick that shit up yet. Here's someone right here. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I always loved Harvey's mustache. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. We got a question mark here. What do we got going on? No, no, don't use your fucking tools, dude. Do not. Ah, this is the birthday calendar. Lewis's birthday, Vincent's birthday. We got the egg festival on the 13th. We've got the flower dance on the 24th. Nobody's going to dance with me during the flower dance. Ashamed to admit it. Uh, see, I don't want anything selected. Whatever. Yo, what's good? What's good, meow? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. We're going around Stardew Valley meeting everybody. Having a good time. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, you must be Aeonful, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. How's your day going, Meow? What you been up to? Welcome to Pierre's. Need some supplies? No, I'm trying to meet you, Pierre. I'm, like, trying to be your friend. Hey, it's Mr. Aeonful, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. I'm okay. Hope you're well. We're doing pretty good. I'm getting kind of hungry. Um, come on. I want to... No, stop using your tools. 2,000 G for that. Okay. I'm doing pretty good. Having a good day. I had some good food. I need more good food. We've played a lot of good games today. We've played some games that I have not played before on stream or like at all in general. We played a game called Rain World that one of our friends on stream Ivento suggested. And it's super awesome. There's a door here? How long has there been a door in this room? I've been cleaning and napping and drinking a little bit of everything. Nice. I had a little bit to drink last night. If you if you caught the stream, I was quite quite wasted on stream last night. I was. It pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Jojico has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protest. Joja builders have already broken down broken ground for the new Joja Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby, and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. 
As manager of the new Jojamart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer. Wages start at 5G an hour. I look forward to seeing your resume. Fuck Jojamart. <laughs> Fuck Jojamart. <laughs> I missed out. No worries. No worries. There will be more opportunities. I will surely do more, uh, more swifty streams. Jojamart... Jojamart is the closest thing you have to an antagonist in this game. You fucking why I fucking hate Jojamart. They suck. I already talked to you. I don't want to I want to talk to this one. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Got a kid over here. Was this one Jass of Vincent? Vincent. No, oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Yeah, no worries, Ono. Thank you so much for the lurk, dude. This game is so common. This game if you haven't played this game, if you haven't seen this game, this game is so calming. It's very relaxing. It's one of my favorite games to just get lost in and vibe with for a couple hours. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. You already talked to Harvey? Yeah, basically, I, I spend hours in this game just fucking, like, farming. Talking to people and farming. You make friends with everybody, you farm, you get animals, you raise the animals. You can even raise like dinosaurs, I think. If you find a dinosaur egg, I'm pretty sure you can actually raise dinosaurs in this game. Digging through the trash. No, oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I have it on Steam, but I beat it on Switch. I don't know why I buy it. I did the same thing, Meow. I have it on Steam, and then my friend was like, play co-op with me on the Switch, and I was like, fine, 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 fine. So I bought it on Switch. I played most of my hours in co-op on Switch. But we're, uh, we're returning to the Steam copy for stream, because it's just easier to stream off my computer than get the capture card set up again. The capture card is set to capture PS4 right now for the Dark Souls stream. What have you got, old lady? Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. There's so many characters. Who are we going to romance? Who are we going to be friends with? The answer is we're going to be friends with all of them. But, uh, I have Don't Starve Together on my PC, my phone, and my PS4. I have Don't Starve Together on my PC, and I've never played it. I've, I mean, like, I've played it, but I've never, like, really played it. I don't know how it works. One of my exes was like, yo, we should play this sometime. And I was like, okay, and I got it, and then we never played it. <coughs> so how was your first night in the old cottage? Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. What a what a handsome, what a handsome fella. What a lovely fella. Is Willie down here? There's a character named Willie who lives down here, but I don't think I don't think he's available in game yet. I think he's gone fishing, be back tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Willie is Willie is not available right now. I played it religiously. Hell yeah. Oh, we've, oh, I can't pick it up. I don't have the inventory space. <coughs> oh, these first days kind of drag a little bit. Not much to do except run around and think of a fun voice to give every single character. Is this guy still at work? It's locked. He closed at 4. Clint. Clint closes at 4. That's open. To oh, it was 6 right as I walked up to the door. God. If I had gone down there instead of wasting time at the smithy, I would have actually gone in there. Anybody at Joja? Any assholes here? Who are you? No, I'm not buying anything from Joja. But who are you? Welcome to Jojamon. 
How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Yeah, never become a Joja member. They're they're evil. It'll just ruin your world forever. It'll just it'll it, like that's losing the game. Becoming a Joja member is like forcing yourself to lose the game. Trying to find some more people I've not met yet. I used to have a mod for this game on PC that popped up where people were on the map at any time. Cause like I don't want to, I don't want to fucking look up where they are every time I play this game. You know, they have certain set schedules they tend to follow. I think I romanced the football guy. Oh, uh, Alex, right? This dude right here, Alex. Oh hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. <laughs> cool. Here's the old dude. It's irritating having to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now fuck off! Fuck George. George is literally like the worst character in the game. Yeah, George is worse than Shane. This man. Whose man's is this? Penny's asleep. Oh, here's Clint. Uh, hi. I'm Clint. I need a better voice for Clint. That wasn't a very good... There's no dog in here. I don't see a dog. Ah, oh, let's talk to everybody here. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. I love Gus. He's so much fun. He's such a cool dude. Let's talk to Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Are the kids hanging out over here? Sometimes the teens... Well, I guess they're not teens. I guess everybody in this game is an adult. What is this? What, what, what have I got over here? What have I got over here that I can't quite click? There's definitely a secret I can't click and I want it. Uh, I, I want to call them the kids, the teens, but they're not. They're like, they're the young adults. Sometimes the, uh, the young adult crowd hangs out over here. You know, you're, um... Sebastian, Alex, uh, Abigail, Maru, who's the last one? Sam! The, the Young Adults crew. Alright, I think everyone's, like, in their homes. It's locked. We did not manage to meet everybody today. That's okay. I didn't really expect to. I don't think we were going to manage that. Um, this might be a good time to turn into bed in the game here. Might be a good time for that. Do we have a chest built in our house? Sorry, I whistled that ass. I hope it didn't come up, come across too loud on the microphone. Still gotta get that compressor set up. Sono Jam. Sono sent me a compressor. Sent me a... Something I could use to compress shit. Crafting. Let's craft a chest. Just because we're going to need a chest. That's like one of the first things we're going to need. Now we can fill it with shit. Put that in there. Put the seeds in there. Put the coal in there. Uh, yeah, put all that shit in there. There was, um... Okay, yeah, put the sap in there too. No, don't break the chest. Don't do that. Hop into bed. Would you like to sleep? Yes. <laughs> okay a fresh new day a fresh new day in stardew valley we've got to water i don't did we water these yesterday oh shit i don't know if we did my bad we might not have got to water all your crops so they grow nice and big we could have gotten some fertilizer, but we didn't. It's alright. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my back... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to get the backpack upgrade. What else we got in here? Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie's back. Willie is one of my favorite characters. He's the fishing character. He's going to give us a fishing rod. And we can finally fish. 
Some people, some people hate the fishing in Stardew Valley. Those people are wrong. The fishing in Stardew Valley is difficult, but it gets easier the more you level it up. Um, it's difficult at first, I'll admit that. I don't catch every single fish. Sometimes they get away, they're hard. Rubber! Excuse me. But, I love fishing. Oh, he's got his, he's got his sea legs on, doesn't he? Wiggling back and forth. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have me old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. It's fishing time, baby. You received a bamboo pole. Look at us go. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Heh, <laughs> that's what me old pappy used to say anyway. What a fun dude. I love Willie. Just a fun, fun, fun fella. <sighs> Alright, we got the fishing rod. I would love to do some fishing right now, but we are still on a quest to introduce ourselves to everybody in town. How far are we? Only seven more people to find. Um, oh, hold on. Let me dig this up real quick. You see these worms? That means there's a secret under there. That means there's a gorsh darn secret under there. Oh, shut up. <laughs> well, you know, you dig up them worms and you find a secret under there and you just go, oh, shucks. That's where it was the whole time, wasn't it? So now that we've got that book, let's let's go to the library, actually. Let's talk to this dude. Gunther. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Is that all he says? He doesn't have an intro? Damn, okay, okay. Thought he had an intro. We did find a book, though. Right? We found a book. We found one of these. Tips on farming. Use I, I know all the tips on farming, but I'll, I'll read them. I'll read them for chat. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. Dope. We've got one book so far. We will end up filling that library with many a, many a secret treasure over our time playing this game. The minecart here. Here, grab this. We need to you need to forage for shit. Never forget to forage for shit. Who haven't we talked to? Sebastian, we haven't talked to. Sam. We talked to Maru already. Let's see if anybody's in the Jojo Mart right now. I think sometimes Sam stocks shelves in Jojo Mart. Nope, I don't see any Sam and Jojo Mart. <coughs> Shane. Marnie. We gotta talk to Marnie, too. That's right. That's right. I remember. I remember. I remember. Is there anybody up here? We haven't found Jass yet. Jass? Yes, yes. We gotta find Jazz. Oh, I'm like running through all the characters in my head trying to think of who we haven't talked to yet. I think there's a couple up here in the house. No, don't hit that. Just pick it up. I'm still getting used to the controls. I played so much Switch. I gotta readjust, readjust to the console or readjust to the PC. Let's see, who's in here? Demetrius? Demetrius! 
Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. We got Demetrius here. If we go down to this den, ah, there's a there's my my favorite one of my favorite characters. He's got two computers. There was a time. There was a time when this game came out that um, this character had a bong sitting in this room. That has been patched out. The bong has been patched out. But Sebastian's bong is something that used to be in the game. Now I think he just walks out to the river and has a cig or a joint every now and then. Oh yeah, how could I forget Linus? Linus is such a good character. Oh, Linus isn't even here right now. Hold on, we gotta find Linus. Oh, I see him, I see him. Linus is such a good character. I love Linus. He's just lovely. He's so nice. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Yeah, he just kind of lives in this tent. He just kind of minds his own business, living in the tent, doing his own thing. It's really cool, really nice. I like to be his friend. Linus is living his life the way I imagine I might like to live mine if I ever just disappear. Because one day, one day I'm just going to run into the woods. One day I'm just going to run into the woods and I'm never going to come back. And when I come back, I'm going to be the knife master. The knife master. Okay, who else do we got to talk to? Is Sam over here? I think Sam lives in one of these houses. I think Sam lives in this house, specifically. Ah, oh, but he's in his room. He's in his room. Okay, what about... Um, Haley. Haley lives in this house, right? Let's see what Haley's up to. Is Haley available today? Hard to tell. Hard to find people sometimes. Yeah, this is when this quest tends to get a little, uh, little rough, a little annoying. You want to find everybody, but you don't know where everybody is. Let's check in Pierre's. Oh shit, there's a bunch of them in here. There's a bunch. Marnie's here. I think Marnie's the only one I haven't talked to yet. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Have I... I think I've talked to all of these people. I think I've talked to everybody here. I talked to Caroline. I talked to, uh... talked to Jody. I met Robin. Robin was one of the first people I met. Uh, how we doing? How many more do we have to find? Four. We're looking for four more people. Um... Sebastian's one. Sam is another. Sam. I found him. I found the bastard. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Huh, radical, dude. Let's go skateboard. Oh, I can't talk to him anymore. Okay. I can shake the bushes. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right, because you can harvest berries from them. Oh, there's Jass. I'm going to go to bed. Have a good night, my friend. And good night, chat. Fuck, I keep forgetting it's, like, actually late. I've been streaming kind of, like, all day. <laughs> Yo, get some good rest, dude. We're probably going to be ending stream pretty soon anyways. I just want to get through this quest, maybe, mostly. Almost 2 a.m. here. It's, um... It's almost 9 p.m. here. I need to eat dinner. I ate breakfast, and then I did not eat dinner. Oops. Jazz. Hi. Okay, two more. Sebastian... Sebastian and Haley. Good night, DMAC. I hope you get some good sleep tonight, dude. Thank you so much for coming by. Love hanging, man. Abigail. I love Abigail. What a great character. Ugh, I'm not in a good mood right now. Yeah, that's okay. It happens. I'll leave you alone. Uh, Pam is over here. 
Shane is stalking. I gotta figure out where Haley is gonna be. Haley, Haley and Sebastian. Sebastian at this point might have left his room. He might be out by the lake having a smoke, having a cigarette or a joint, whatever the fuck he has. Whatever the fuck he has. That might be out where he is right now. We're gonna go have a, have a little chat with him. Sebastian's on Smoko, so leave him alone. He's on Smoko, so leave him alone. I don't see him over here. I do not see him. See, that's the issue. There are so many different places people could be. Let me just confirm he's not, like, still in his room. He's still in his room. He He's working as a programmer right now. He's doing programming. Pretty sure that's canonically what he's up to right now. So I could, like, sit there outside his door and wait for him to come out. Like, we could be creepy. We could do that. But I also don't want to do that. Because we still gotta find Haley. We've got to find Haley. She's gonna be here somewhere. Uh, maybe I should go back and check Haley's house for her. Right in here. Uh huh. There she is. There she is. I gotta get her before she runs into a room. There's Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? That's all I needed to do. We got one more. We gotta get Sebastian. We'll go snag Sebastian. Maybe now that it's six, he's, uh, he's out of his dungeon. Out of his basement room. Take a break. Stop programming, dude. Twenty twenty one off to a great start. Went on a beer run. Started my car. Sounded smelled funny. Oh jeez. Try to go in reverse. Nothing happened. And I'm slowly going forward. Transmission might be done for, dude. That fucking sucks. I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, twenty twenty. Y'all thought twenty twenty one was gonna be better. Doubt it. Unfortunately, dude. I'm sorry. That fucking sucks. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. I, uh, I've had my fair share of car troubles. I used to have this old Volvo car that, I swear to God, swear to God, it died, like, every couple months. There was a new problem with this old fucking car I used to have. Eventually, it just got to the point where it was it was going to be more expensive for me to fix the car than it would be to just dump the car and save up for a new one. So, finally ended up just getting a different car. I, I was like, I, I've never had a new car. I'm not going to have a new car. I got it. I got an old car, but slightly less old than the car I had before this car. This car that I've had now has worked fine for a couple years. I'm very, very happy about that. Give someone a gift. Well, that is a quest that we can go on soon. But I got my beer and a fr and a fresh bleezy. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, when I hop off stream after I eat, I'm probably gonna have myself a bowl. The, uh, the stuff I picked up from the dispensary is uh, super powdery. Super, super powdery. Yo, Stoner. Stoner, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Dude. Dude, thank you. <laughs> Stardew told me to. No! Oh, right. Stardew said give a gift, yo. Thank you so much, dude. Hold on. Let me give you a shout-out. I know I shouted you out when you came in, but in case anybody else popped in, in case anybody doesn't know RG Stoner, please check this dude out. He's one of the chillest dudes on Twitch. He's got great vibes. He plays some Pokemon. He plays some Dark Souls. He plays some Call of Duty. You play a lot of shit. You play a lot of shit over there. He plays some Final Fantasy VIII. How's Final Fantasy VIII going, by the way? Making good progress? You're definitely way farther than I ever got in that game. I gotta go back to it. We got three more of these to place. Put one there. <coughs> Put one there. Kind of water that shit down. Water that shit down. What time is it? 8.30 p.m.? Oh, it's early in this game. 
Halfway through disc two. Played on Mondays now. Oh, nice. I'm trying to get myself uh, on a schedule, on a streaming schedule. But it's this. It's going to be like a schedule that stays around the same time, but the games rotate. Because I have a lot, of, a lot of different games in my rotation right now. You know, all these variety games. Some of these variety games end up in my main rotation. You know, like Celeste was supposed to be a vi variety game. And now I'm uh now I'm just playing Celeste like as a as an entire stream thing. I dedicate entire streams to Celeste. Yeah, times are hard for me. Dude, times are hard like everyone's dying right now. I'm sure times are fucking rough. That isn't to like that isn't like a comment on like dude everybody's struggling like every like everybody's struggling but man it's fucking rough right now that's like me identifying with times being fucking tough right now uh i i was making thirty dollars last from i think it was halfway through december till my twitch payout which hopefully i get the 15th of this month if i don't get my twitch payout uh, well, at least I, I wanna I want some money from the from the scratch off ticket, so it's no longer like thirty bucks. Yeah, hardcore turtle with this with the hydration. I got you, man. Oh, setting yeah okay. I went down the completely wrong wrong path. Yeah, setting times is uh is rough for me. I'm I'm really bad at keeping a schedule, but I'm trying to do it for the uh for the stream. You know, I love seeing people come by and stuff. I want to try, I want to try being consistent for people instead of being like, "Yeah, I'll be on whenever," because that's what I did for the longest time. And I'm like, okay, I need some semblance of order here. But yeah, like times, times are also hard. Like just time, just living in general is uh, an experience right now. If you get to 100 bucks in rev, it'll hit the bank on the 15th. Yeah. So here's the thing. I hit. I'm not going to say how much I hit, but I, 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 I broke the, uh, let's say I broke the seal. I broke the barrier. I know that much. And I did that last month. I, um, I got more than enough for this. Oh, it's getting late. I got to get in the bed. I got more than enough for December, but my payout page didn't update at the end of December. Like it did for November. It says the last update was on November 3rd. And I thought it was supposed to update, like, at the end of every month. So if it's not updated, am I still going to get a payout on the 15th of this month? That's what I'm, like, questioning. And I'm not sure if I should, like, message Twitch, like, hey, are you going to update my, my payout or whatnot? But, you know. Mine did that. Did you did you still get the payout for it? Because if you still got the payout, I'm good. I'll just let it do whatever. We got level 1 foraging. Plus 1 axe proficiency. You still got the payout? Dope. Okay. Cool. Thank you for clearing that up for me. I really appreciate it. I was kind of stressing about that. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds. New crafting recipe, field snack. That, that's like a bark mulch granola. Celeste is fantastic. I, I glossed over that a little bit earlier, but I read that message, Hardcore Turtle. Celeste is fantastic. Uh, I'm really happy I started playing it. And I'm really excited. It's like a, a main game on my stream now. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It said zero up until the other day. Whack. Yeah, mine's been stuck on the November one for a while, which is not high enough. Um. <clears throat> anyways, I'm thinking. I'm thinking for my next community goal. If if we beat Celeste, if we finish Celeste by the time I'm setting up my next community goal. Here's what I'm thinking. A community goal where I have to do the A, the, the B and C sides of Celeste. I have to do the hard secret levels. I'm going to say fuck so much during those streams. I'm going to get so irate doing those. But if people want to see them, if people get that community goal done, I will do it. I will make it happen. Those levels are fucking hard. B-sides are easy, C-sides are insane. I tried a B-side right when I started the game. I tried the first B-side, and I only made it halfway through. I think now if I went back, I would maybe be able to uh, maybe be able to beat it. But after just starting the game, I was not good enough. I think what I might do, I might do a community goal for, for B-sides. 
And then, as a part of that, maybe do some of the seasides. I don't want. I don't want to be like, yeah, I'll do the seasides, and then like, turns out I'm not a good enough, a fucking pro gamer to do it. That would be disappointing. But I feel like I could do. I could do the the B sides. I'll donate. Wish I could donate, but I have no money, dude. Community goals are no money, no money involved, dude. That's why I set them up. I think the community goals are a really good way to set up an event for people, to set up like a huge fun thing that everyone can participate in without having money. Cuz it's not really like it's not really all about the money. It's not about the numbers even. Um, but community goals community goals are all channel points. Yeah. Stoner's got it. Yeah, community goals are awesome. I remember I found out about community goals. I was like, holy shit. So not like not everything has to be a follower goal or a sub goal. I was so excited. I'm like, I'm so happy that I can set up community goals and we can do cool shit. Um, we actually finished our first community goal. I've got to actually do the stream for it. Um, I'm going to be playing Dark Souls 3 and I'm going to be dressed as Solaire while I do it. A couple days ago, I actually had the helmet like pulled out next to me for me to stick on my head while I was streaming so people knew I wasn't bullshitting. I'm going to cosplay Solaire. I already have the PS4 under my desk. I'm ready to play it. I think it's probably going to be like this next week or the week after. Depends what's going on. Wish I could do things with Channel Point. You're not affiliate yet, dude? Hold on, I follow you, right? I think I followed you the other day. I better have. Let me just double check because sometimes I'd be following people. Or I, I, I don't follow people, and I think I have followed them. Let me double check. Okay, yeah, you're followed. I've had you followed for a while. Dude, we can we can help you grind to affiliate. I didn't know you weren't affiliate. Why did I not know that? Why did I not know that, dude? Okay. Yeah, dude. Are you? Uh, what are you working on for affiliate? Do you need the, uh, the average viewers? Or, um... I didn't check how many followers you were at when I just looked, so I, I don't know what you need. I got 50 followers, just need... Oh, yeah, viewer average, man. The viewer average it gets a lot of people. Yo, thank you. Thank you, Stoner, for following. Let me give you a shout-out real quick. So, everybody, Hardcore Turtle is working on uh, getting to affiliate. Oh, yeah, he plays 9, I'm pretty sure, right? You said you were playing 9 recently, right, Turtle? Everybody, Hardcore Turtle is trying to get to affiliate right now. So if you go send a follow over their way, maybe check out a stream. Check out what they're about over there. Go, uh, go help him, help him grind out that, um... Oh, shit, I'm typing in chat. Currently playing all Final Fantasy games 7 to 15. Nice. Uh, Stoner actually just finished 7, and he moved on to 8. And I think, Stoner, you're probably just planning on going through most of them, right? Is that what your plan is? I know, I know you're pumped to get to 9. I'm pumped to get back to 9. I feel like I haven't played 9 in a week. Oh, I got a geode. At least going up to 10. Hell yeah. 10's good. Cubone's been playing 10 too. I've never heard a single good thing about 10 too, but I still want to play it. And Cubone's been enjoying it. So I I might just have to like slide it up on my uh, my list of games to play. You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be inside? I don't. I think once the turn base ends, I'm going to stop. I don't know about 10 2. Yeah, that's valid. That's valid. That's valid. I really want to play 12. One of my friends really loves 12, and I feel like I didn't give it enough of a chance when I first played it. I definitely want to try 12. Uh, 12... 12 you can force to be turn based, but it's it's supposed to be played more active. 13 is definitely not turn based. 13 is a very active battle system. Thirteen a lot of people don't like thirteen. I kinda like it. Thirteen was weird. I think a lot of people saw thirteen being weird and they were like, this isn't what I know, this isn't what I want, this isn't what I like. And I don't wanna I don't wanna belittle that opinion because you know like people can like things or not like things for whatever reason. Four to nine aren't turn-based. They, well, I mean, they, no, they technically aren't. But, um, Final Fantasy 13 is definitely less turn-based than them. But no, technically four to nine aren't turn-based. They're active time battle. So, technically, yeah, you're right. 
they kind of just masquerade as turn-based because they got the menus. You go through them and stuff. But um, thirteen, thirteen is a lot more active, active, you know. Because thirteen changes the the kind of decisions you make. Thir it's it's kind of impossible to talk about what whether it's an active time battle system or not in the same sense as you talk about the others because it's um it's got such a different uh philosophy r given the decision making uh which is something i actually appreciate i don't think everybody appreciates it but i really like that the game takes more of a macro level approach to making decisions in combat as opposed to the micromanaging that we've come to expect from a lot of final fantasy games which isn't to say that the the micromanaging approach is bad. I um, you know, I still like all of those games. I like six. I like nine. I like seven. I like all of them. I just also like the difference with thirteen. I think it's interesting to play around with. And one of the best things about thirteen is that I found when I played it, I found that its combat kept evolving like throughout the majority of the game. I remember getting up to chapter thirteen. And the combat had just then reached a point where I was like, holy shit, this is kicking ass. Like, it's been good, but now it's, like, really good. 13, you have that, we oh, yeah. You got, um, what is it? Paradigms. It's, it's all about the paradigm mechanic in 13. I love the paradigms. I'm all about it. ATB can technically, can be switched technically in them. You can turn that, oh, yeah, you can, you can. Isn't Lude playing 15? Yeah, he just started it. Yep. I ate 30 taquitos for lunch and my stomach is regretting it now. Dude, rip. I I drank a lot of rum last night and I, my stomach re regretted that. Tell you that much. Damn, I want some taquitos. I don't have any taquitos. What am I going to have for dinner? <laughs> Your poor toilet. About a poop shotgun the toilet, dude. All right, I got to. Uh, I'm gonna bring this geode to the blacksmith. There's not really a lot for me to uh, to do right now. Maybe I can buy some seeds. We're like we're still pretty early into the game here. Oh shit! I see a foraging. I see foraging. Is Gengar my favorite Pokemon? Yeah, probably. Not to be like a basic edgy bitch who loves the 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 Gen One ghost types. But I love that big fat purple boy. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, I love that emote. I I made that emote. I don't I'm not sure why I made that emote, but one night I was like, fuck it, I wanna do some Gengar pixel art. So I whipped that shit out. Hey, four twenty PM, four twenty PM, four thirty PM. Never mind. Not exciting anymore. Um what is no, no, don't show me that. Show me the quest. I'd like to put a red mushroom on a chain. Please deliver it sometime today. Shane. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let me talk to Sebastian. Let me talk to my dude. What am I going to do today? I don't know. Probably nothing. <laughs> yeah, I hear that, dude. I went on lunch and got moved. Hello. Yo, what's up, Marvin? How's it going, dude? Dude, you do some... Oh, shit. Yo, thank you for the follow. Dude, you do some dope art. I've seen... I've, I've caught a couple of your streams, man. Um, you know what we do here for new followers? Is new followers get a get a guitar improv as a welcome to the channel. So uh sit your ass down. We're gonna we're gonna play you some music, man. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for uh, coming to hang out. Oh, let's pick up pick up the old guitar, the old six stringer. Hope you enjoyed, dude. I just showed my eight-year-old sister Pokemon for the first time. She played Fire Red. I'm annoyed because she found a shiny Rattata in the first 20 minutes. Music is fire. Thank you, dude. I hope you enjoyed, Marvin. Welcome to the stream, dude. Hope you enjoy your stay.
All right, let's get back to the the Stardew Valley. We got a little more Stardew to do before we end stream. We're gonna raid out. Uh, where's my source? Yo, Hardcore Turtle, thank you so much for the host. Oh, yo, let me give you another shout out in case anybody came in. Hardcore Turtle is shooting for affiliate right now. He's working on grinding up that average viewer. If anyone could stop by, give him a view. We'll help him get to affiliate. Cause that'd be that'd be dope. Love helping people grind up. Love helping people get to affiliate. Absolute pog champ hours. Yo, I'm streaming in 10 minutes. You should raid me. Let's, yeah, I might be down for that. Um, I'm going to raid whoever probably has the lowest views. Um, so if you need the views, we might come your way. What are you, uh, what are you playing, dude? What am I doing? What am I, oh, I, fuck, I was supposed to go to the, uh, the smithy. FF9? Yeah, I like FF9. Stoner likes FF9. I like FF9. I know we got a couple other people maybe lurking who like FF9. Not to call anybody out of lurk. Stay, stay comfortable. Stay quiet if that's if that's your uh, your move. What am I doing here? <laughs> I don't like FF9. I love it. <laughs> I hate FF9. Yo, Hardcore Turtle, how far are you in FF9 currently? On my stream, we just hit... We're in Disc 2. What have we done in Disc 2 so far? I think we were getting ready to do a boss in Disc 2. <laughs> That's about as much as I can remember. What was I working on in this game? Kind of nothing. There's kind of nothing I can do except clear trees and I can't even do that because we don't have energy right before the festival in Lindblom ah, yeah, I remember that part I remember that part that feels like weeks ago at this point the problem with my stream schedule is I play a game and then the next time I stream I play a completely different game and so like an entire week passes between each each time I play a game and I completely forget what I'm doing chipped amphora huh what? Excuse me. Oh, I overexerted myself. That one last hit did it. All right, we gotta we gotta walk our ass back to bed. We gotta walk our ass all the way back to bed. Here we go. I think this is gonna be the last day we play. We're gonna we're gonna raid out after this after we go to bed. I do that too. I think it's why I gave myself two days for souls. Yeah. Ono was considering two days for souls, but I think he's going to do a little bit of Metal Gear first. I was thinking about that Metal Gear Monday. Metal Gear Monday. I want to play Metal Gear on stream. I actually tested OBS like five years ago on a completely different Twitch account. I tested OBS, and I tested it by playing Metal Gear Solid 5. But if I were to play a Metal Gear game on stream, I think I want to play two or three. I'll play Twin Snakes once he's done five for a bit. Hell yeah. I like Twin Snakes. I played Twin Snakes maybe four years ago. Alright. We saved. We saved. Exit to 